Today I'm doing my bi-weekly makeup basket starting on March 15th. I have got quite a few items in my project pan and other challenges as well as some repeats and then some new ones. I wasn't necessarily sure I was going to put my project pan and that stuff in there but it's actually quite a chunk of the makeup that I'll be using so I did want to kind of overview it but I'm not going to sit on it very long. I'll link those videos on the side and down below uh, so you can check out some more about those but let's get into it. Okay my 7 by Spring product that I'm still using is this Brulee from Wet n Wild. This naked lip gloss from Urban Decay is from 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Then from Project Pan I have the Char Char Lip Crayon Benefit Fake Up, Benefit Eye Bright, the Urban Decay Zero and Whiskey Liner, Urban Decay El Dorado, the Temp2 Highlighter, Viva La Juicy, the Elf Translucent Mattifying Powder, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Light and Natural, the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer, and then I decided to throw in a nail polish because I have not been doing a good job on those. So I threw in this purple Simple Colors in Let's Talk and that's from my Project Polish. I also have mini sample perfumes from Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo but I don't have a specific ones that I'm using so I'm not throwing them in here. But I will be using those. Then I have the products that are repeats, the Too Faced Brow Envy, the ELF Cover Everything Concealer, the Stila Convertible Color in Peony, the Hard Candy Glamouflage Light, I think that's been in before, I know I've talked about it, the Lime Crime Quill Liner, the Hard Candy Pencil Concealer, Benefit Eye Bright, the Ofra Lip Liner in Silk, Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara, and the Benefit Ula Lift. Okay, now on to the new stuff. I do have quite a few eyeshadow things. Uh, first off, I have two left of these Napoleon Purtis samples, and one of them is open already, and this is the Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer. These were in my sample project pan and I had a few left over so I want to use up those two. Then I have the Coastal Sense Revealed Palette and I think this was from BoxyCharm over the holidays. So it's a neutral palette, some shimmers, there are some mattes though and that's really kind of why I picked it out. because the big palette that I want to use is this M palette and this is the Party Life palette and it just does not have a lot of neutrals in it but the reason I picked this is because I have that gold liner that's in my project pan and it's got golds and purples that will go well with that. It also does have blushes right here and then these two little ones on each side are lip products. So it's got a whole array in this palette. But I did pull out this little case and put single eyeshadows in there. And these are the shadows that I pulled out. I have the Jasmine LaBelle eyeshadow in Bloom. This is the e.l.f one in Wisteria and I pulled those out because the M palette does not have any really light purples and I like those for all over the lid. Then I have these three Urban Decay shadows. This is Urban Decay ABC Gum and that's just a good matte neutral. This is Urban Decay El Dorado which will go well with that eyeliner. And this is Urban Decay Polyester Bride. And that's actually, I think, my oldest Urban Decay eyeshadow now. And I wanted to use that as a sparkly inner corner highlight. The reason I bought this shadow in the first place is because of the name. 
I love that Liz Fair song, Polyester Bride, and that's why I actually bought that. But that is my oldest Urban Decay shadow, so I do want to try to get some use out of that. Then, just a few other products. I actually didn't need a lot because that M palette has blushes and lip products in it, so I didn't really have to pull out a lot for that. But I have the Benefit They're Real mascara, and I've had this for a really long time. I've just never opened it, so hopefully it is still good. But this is in my projects I want to use up for 2015. Then I have the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And I'm sure everyone's seen that, but it is super, super pigmented. And I've barely used it, so I want to try to get some use out of it. Then the Jabot Cream Blush, and this is in Natural Flush Light. And I have used this before, but it looks like this. And, and it's probably the oldest cream blush I have right now, possibly. And regardless, it's still old, so I do want to try to use that some. Then I have the Rimmel Airy Fairy. I don't love this because I think it's a little frosty, but it will go good with the lip liner and the gloss that I have. And then I have the NYX Wonder Pencil. I finally finished the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. So this is just another nude color liner that I'm basically going to use for the same purpose. And I forgot this, but I also wanted to include the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Iced Mocha. And it looks like that. And I do think it's actually been working pretty well for me to include face masks in my makeup basket, because I actually do mostly remember to use them. So these are the ones I am including. This is another one of the Absolute Brightening Essence Masks, and I had one of those in my last makeup basket. And then I had this Appeal Facial Essence Mask, and this one came from Big Lots, I think. I got it in a set. But that is everything for my makeup basket, and I will see you guys later at the end of the month with a recap. Bye.